I think we've done the same job this year. I think we've, we've really now got a squad where there is literally tough competition in, in every spot, where nobody is really guaranteed a spot in the team. Not really. I think, um, you know, it, it's always difficult because then you start mentioning players and forgetting about other players. I think, um, obviously, uh, getting Zad, Zadorowski in as a centre-back was important to us. You know, we had a lot of attacking weapons last year. We've added to that with Sid LaRue this year, so I think in that sense, we're good. The, the thing that we were a little bit vulnerable last year, and that's not because of the personnel, it's because of how we played, was we were defensively a little bit vulnerable. I think that's something that we need to, to rectify and, and do a little bit better this year, so hopefully bringing in that uh, extra centre-back will help do that. Well, it's interesting. What, what, what basically happened with that is that uh, I'd been had several meetings with Seth when I was back in Australia during the off-season and she intimated that she wasn't coming back for this season. She's gone four years straight in the league. She's picked up some niggles with the ankle and the knee. Um, and then um, we spoke after I came back and she said, look, she might consider coming back here, but she wants to be in the West Coast and preferably at Seattle. So that was a catalyst for, for that move. Um, so sort of within that move, the, the the key thing for it started a whole that that move started a whole chain of events. It, we we didn't have much happening until that that started, um, and basically you know they were they were keen and jazz, and with us pending uh, getting Sid Larue here, it, we felt that was a really good opportunity for Jazz to go and get more game time because she needs to do that as a senior pro. So that kind of started that move. The other thing that was part of that is that. One thing that we need to to do here is build up our domestic, the strength of our domestic players. What we've had to do as an expansion team to get where we are now is rely a lot on international players. But we now need to beef up our uh, domestic players. Um, Haley, obviously, because we knew uh, uh, Aubrey was going. And then bringing in uh, Christine Nairn and, and Carson Pickett that helped boost our uh, sort of domestic, domestic group. Not really, because you're, you're kind of, you've got what you've got in the squad, so it's not, you haven't got a situation where you can just, will it, it's not like a, in a free market league, the situation's slightly different, you don't have, you know, caps on numbers of players that you can have, etc. Um, this league is slightly different. Uh, what it does in the World Cup year, and that's why to boost our domestic players is really important, because there's going to be times when our Brazilians are gone, our Canadians, our Americans, and our Australians, so we need to have a core of um, really good domestic players, and it's important that we, we keep building that up. <laughs> I wish I knew the answer to that right now. It's just about how well we can prepare, as simple as that. And, and as I say, what we've tried to do is build up a strong squad, not just a starting a living and a bench. We want to build up a strong squad, and I think that's what we've done. So when you know, for that first three or four weeks of the season and our Australians and our Brazilians are away, that uh, we've got enough depth in the squad to to um, cope with that. And um, and if we do that, then we've got a competitive team on the field. Ah, it's just part of being it's part of being a coach. I never get too stressed about that, you know. Kind of one player's misfortune or missing out is another player's good fortune in coming in the team. And, and you work within the system that you've got. So um, I don't particularly get sleepless night. I don't usually get sleepless nights anyway, to be honest. Um, but I don't have sleepless nights over that. We are here to work with our, our squad and of that squad sometimes is a full 20 and everybody vying for positions in the starting team or it's down to 14 players, then that's what we work with. Good. There's pros and cons to that. You know, if you're a young player and you've got an opportunity to go and play somewhere and then you just come straight in and you're, you're ready to go again. It's when you do it year after year after year then you start to, you know, you then don't get time to recover from things. But, uh, you know, the, the players that we've had overseas this year, I think have benefited from that. And then they obviously come into to pre-season very much in a, in a state of match fitness. So, so there's positives to, to going away and playing elsewhere. And the reality is now, particularly for those players and our international players, is that in women's soccer and men's soccer, it's, it's almost like a 12 month of the year. Um, a 12 month of the year game and then it's up to us when we've got them here to make sure that we manage them properly that they stay healthy.